Hello, how you guys doing today? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you and in this video I am going to show you guys how to reflect an image over the line y equals a. Now the line y equals a could be any horizontal line. So what that's going to do is take a picture, an image, and it's going to reflect it over a horizontal line called y equals a. And a could be any single number that you want. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. And we're going to take a look at a couple examples here just to kind of get you started with it. And I think you'll pick it up very, very quickly, as long as you can count. So here we are. We're going to have the line y equals 2 in this image right here. So first thing I want you to do is go ahead and draw the line y equals 2. So you have to go to y equals 2, and you're going to go ahead and draw that line. And there we go. So that is the line y equals 2. Now from here, what you have to be able to do is count but we're going to count above or below that line y equals 2. So we'll start with point i. That's one point above, so that's going to actually switch and go to where the c is. So this point right here is going to be i prime. And c is one point below the line y equals 2, so c prime is going to be one point above. So those two just kind of switch places. Now if I go over to L, L is two places, two units above the line Y equals two, so that means I'm going to need to go two units below the line Y equals two, so L prime would be right there. And then S, that's two units below, so I've got to go one, two units above, and that's where S prime is going to be. And then lastly I do the best line that I can and I go ahead and connect the dots. Now giving the coordinates for each of the vertices that's pretty straightforward so I'll let you go ahead and write those in while I write those in really quickly here for each one of those and we'll start with C and go around to the right. So hopefully you came up with the correct coordinates C prime being 1 3, S prime being 4 4, L prime being at 3 0, and I prime being at 1, 1. Now the thing you have to be really careful with this is that when you get the coordinates for it that you make sure to count from the origin from that spot right there because a lot of people will incorrectly count from where the the line of reflection is so just be real careful with that that's a real common mistake. Now what we're going to do here we're going to have the, for number two we're going to try the reflection over the line y equals negative two so Again, first thing, go ahead and draw a horizontal line at y equals negative 2. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that. And then we're just going to go ahead and do our reflections over each one of these spots. Now, for the first part, let's see, I'm going to go with point A, and that is 1, 2 points above. So that means I'm going to go 1, 2 points below. And then Q is 2 points below, so I'm going to go 2 points above for Q. And M, M is right on the line. So anytime it's right on your line of reflection, you're just going to go ahead and leave it right there. So M prime won't move. A prime will be down here. And then Q prime will be on the X axis. So now, same thing again. We'll go ahead and write down the coordinates for each one of those points. And we'll connect the dots to make the figure the way it was before. So hopefully for this you came up with Q prime at the location 3, 0, and M prime is at 5, negative 2, and A prime is at 5, negative 4. So that's it for these two. Now I want to give you two more to practice on your own just to make sure that you have it down, and that's going to be with these two images here. So with these two images, go ahead and write down the reflection, graph that, and then give the coordinates for each of the vertices of the reflected image. When you're done, come on back and check and see how you did. Go ahead and hit pause now. So how did you do? Hopefully for number three, you came up with a coordinate 0, 2 for V prime, 3, 4 for E prime, and 5, 1 for M prime. And then your drawing matches a drawing that's there on your screen on the left. On question number four, hopefully you came up with the image that's there shown on the right hand side, and the coordinates negative 1, 0 for I prime, 2, negative 2 for C prime, and 4, negative 1 for V prime. Hopefully, by watching this video, 
you now know how to graph the image of any given figure around a line y equals a. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. I'll catch up with you again soon. Peace.